basically Mustafa's not here. I feel a little abandoned. I feel lonely. I've been here for days. And then whenever I message him, he's acting like annoyed with me. So I'm like, why? So I arrived in Malaysia on Wednesday. He did not come until Saturday night. He gave me a magnet. Then he said he's too tired to go out for Chinese New Year and like basically went to bed. Barely you know, I don't really know too much about Courtney because I didn't watch her season on 90 Films and I believe she was in her very first season of Before the 90 Days. But she seems to be quite recurring on the 90 Day Diaries. And each time I see her on 90 Day Diaries, she's always in some type of relationship that she's chasing but isn't actually there. So she decided to reconnect with her fling from the past. Why? Like, when something doesn't work out with somebody, you move on. And you be patient until you find someone new that's right for you. Not go back to somebody that you've been with. I don't really ever see the benefit of going back with someone that you've been with personally myself. I'm not saying it's not something that doesn't work. I'm not saying it doesn't work for certain people. But for me personally, yeah, I just think that if it does work for you, it has to come down to a serious conversation that, that, that you're going to have. And it has to come down to certain principles that maybe you've learned about each other that you believe that need to be done in the in your newer relationship. You know, you've got to make sure your boundaries are in a certain place that they need to be, right? You've got to make sure that both people have grown and they become better people, 100%. So it's something that can be done, but that's within reason. But Courtney now, <laughs> well. Yeah. You know, I see the red flags, but I'm still trying to give myself a chance. I don't know if he's like scared to get hurt or like why he's being weird towards me. It's crazy, you know, she sat there and talked about the red flags. <laughs> okay, so she arrives. He's not there. She has to wait a couple of days until he arrives. He arrives, then he's too busy. And now she wants to talk about, I see the red flags, but I still want to work. This is my point. There's no point of going back to someone that you've been with. If you, if when you go back with them, they haven't changed. They haven't improved. They haven't become a better person. Now that better person that they may have become may not necessarily be a better person for you because sometimes people can change and improve in ways that's really makes them a better person. But sometimes it doesn't mean that you're ready to accept those new things about them because those new things about them may not be things that you actually like, which is fine. Do you see what I'm saying? So sometimes maybe those new things may not even necessarily be a red flag, but in this situation, I will say 100% they've been a red flag because the guy hasn't arrived on time. Then obviously he's arrived, he hasn't spent any time with her. And to be honest with you, these are big indications right to tell you that's not gonna work. So why she's been a hopeless romantic for this guy, it makes no sense whatsoever. Really and truly. I like the fact that she's got her, I like the fact that she knows what she wants. You know, she's got her, the idea of the things she wants all in order. I like that. But she's not applying them in the right areas. She's not applying them with the right men because she's going backwards. Now, in the last episode of uh, Nightly Diaries, she decided to do like this. Uh, this dating thing where she basically set herself up in a, in a, in a, in a, in a location, I think as a bar. And then she had obviously arranged multiple dates and they all came in with their own little time slots to obviously pretty much do some kind of speed dating pretty much. I mean, for me personally, I definitely found it a bit too cringy and a, and a bit more as if you're trying to really force someone to come in your life. But this is the problem. Everything for her doesn't feel like it's coming from a, it's like she's not patient to wait for the right person to come. It's like she's really on this mission to have to find somebody. And the problem with that is that she's neglecting doing any self-growth of her own that she should be doing. Because if she had done any self-growth, then she wouldn't be in this position right here, right now. But listen, before we continue, please do hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 50k. Come on now. And I know you want to. Uh-huh. He sold me a fairy tale. Now I'm just like confused. Like, what's going on? Why did you convince me to come here? Like, what was the point of this? It was me coming for to see you and spend time with you and last time you were like so much more romantic like you got me flowers on like valentine's day it was like my first day probably meeting you this time before i came you were like making like oh but if i propose to you or like i want to find the husband and have a family and stuff so i don't think we're on the same page it makes me sad how much you changed like how people do change for i don't like it so kind i'm like who is this ass basically like i don't know this guy at all i mean listen fair enough that you don't know this guy at all but uh this is my issue with this situation right you should never go back to the guy. You cannot go back to someone and expect them to still have the same good qualities they had before and then also even have other ones. Because remember, sometimes people go through phases. People go through phases where perception change, reason change, and the way they move change. Not everybody, some people are very stagnant in who they are. But for some people, they'll go through experiences and the experiences will, will make them change certain things about them. Certain things that maybe you, you thought that were great for you when you were that person. But maybe they think that nah, that thing actually for me wasn't actually that great because that thing is probably what got me to where I am now. So therefore, I've had to remove it. And now obviously, you know, add something else new. Now, I'm not saying that's the case in this situation with them. It just feels as if this guy 
just flat out just isn't interested point blank period there is no for him there's nothing to do with the fact that he's changed or da 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 he just knows that he doesn't want to be with her and if anything he just wanted to pretty much bring her out there have some fun and then get rid of her that is it in a nutshell in the honest way right but the fact that she's not seeing this is very concerning because she's such a hopeless romantic that she's becoming blind to the fact that the way she is isn't unhealthy to herself but you know what though this is what she does next I do rebound very quickly, but that's because I need to keep moving forward if I want to find my soulmate. So I'm back on the apps. I'm swiping. I found somebody that I'm excited to meet. The relationship is always, uh, I'm looking forward for. So here's the thing. She's back on the app because she likes to rebound quickly, which which clearly tells you that uh, I don't know if, you, if she's someone that has the ability to be dedicated to a person. I mean, she probably, she probably does, but she obviously needs the reassurance from that person for her to be dedicated in that way. So therefore, I'm not going to put that on her. But here's the thing. She goes on an app. She finds a guy and on the first date, this, I, I have to point this out. Can somebody tell me why she's turned up on this first date with pretty much a whole full on cleavage out? I don't understand the logic behind that. And also, if we're looking at the type of men that she's looking for, you know, men usually that are, that are either Asian or Arabic or something like that, well, they want a woman who's pretty much, you know, conservative most of the time. They want a woman that's not going to be walking around with the chest out. I'm just saying at the end of the day, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the outfit per se, but if you're going to, if you're going to go for a date with a certain type of man, you got to basically know what he's going to expect you to kind of wear or, you know, to a certain degree, because at the end of the day, in some cultures, some religions, they have rules or they have expectations and all that kind of stuff. In some areas, they just don't give a damn. And I think for her, based on the kind of men that she's kind of going for, she's not really dressing to make sense. She's not really dressing for any one of these men to be like, okay, you know what? I actually want to be with you. You know what? I would actually want to marry you. She's dressing more in a sense of where these kind of men are probably thinking, you're probably going to be a good little bit. You're probably going to be some good fun until I find something that I actually want. Someone that, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just saying to you because these are little things that sometimes some women don't think about. You know, how you dress can really determine how a man's going to see you. But again, it also depends on the type of man. And also, and when I say the type of man, it can come down to many different things. It can even come down to the fact that he's a religious man who doesn't believe women should dress in a certain type of way, or he doesn't want his woman to dress in that way, or it could be a cultural thing. It could be anything. But like I said before, there are also other men out there that really intuitively wouldn't be that bothered if you dress in this type of way. You know what I mean? They'll be like, listen, I like the way you dress. I like the fact that you want to be free of yourself. So it's not a big thing. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying like, this is like a massive red flag or, or, or turn off. I'm just saying... If you know what the type of man that you want, <laughs> at least make sure you present yourself in a way that he's going to want his woman to be presented, not in a way that you just want to present yourself. And if you want to present yourself the way you want to present yourself, well, find a man that's going to want that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking down below and, and uh, we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.